We are going to talk about holding patterns. Holding patterns are used in IFR flying, instrument flying, as a way for ATC, air, air traffic controllers, to uh, contain an airplane in a certain point in space. Um, the reason for this could be because they are holding an airplane in a certain uh, point in order to allow another aircraft to do a landing, or maybe the airplane is holding because the weather is too poor uh, for the airplane to even attempt the approach. But anyway, um, when we're talking about holding patterns, there's a few terms that we have to understand. The first one is the fix. The fix could be a VOR, it could be an NDB, or it could just be an intersection, or it could be even a distance from one of those points. For example, uh, 15 miles west of a VOR. But anyway, the fix, and then we have an inbound, and then we have an outbound. And we the inbound leg, would go in this direction toward the fix and the outbound leg would turn away from the fix. Now notice this is a right-handed pattern and that would be standard for a holding pattern which is opposite of your normal VFR traffic pattern. Leave it to the FAA, FAA to make it confusing. So we have an inbound and an outbound and our standard pattern are right-hand turns. Now also a standard holding pattern has a one-minute leg on the inbound so if there were no wind involved, your inbound would require one minute and your outbound would require one minute. If it, there is wind involved, we're going to have to adjust our outbound and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, the next thing we need to understand is, well, if I'm flying, how do I get myself in this holding pattern? And it depends on where I'm arriving from. If, in this example, if I were arriving from the northeast to the east area, the easiest way to get into this holding pattern would be to either fly directly to the fix if I had the availability, um, depends on what equipment I had, or maybe intercept the inbound leg and fly to that fix. But either way, once I arrive at the fix, I could easily make a right hand turn, 180 degree turn, and then turn outbound and time for one minute. And then when my minute is up, I would make a right hand turn and turn back inbound it again. We call that a direct entry. Okay, my next choice is, let's say that we are coming from the southwest in this example. So if I were coming from the southwest and the direction of my traffic pattern, or my holding pattern, goes in this direction, I have to figure out how can I get myself going the correct direction coming from this angle. The easiest way to do this is once I arrive at the fix, is to make a 30 degree cut from my inbound course to fly myself over to this area of my holding pattern and I would fly for one minute. So let's say for example this direction was 90 degrees. Then I would choose, once arriving at the fix, I would choose 60 degrees and fly that for one minute. And that'll put me over at this uh, uh, side of the holding pattern. Once my one minute is up, I would make a right hand turn and be, become established on my inbound and then I can just proceed around and around the holding pattern. Now we call this a teardrop entry because your original entry kind of resembles a teardrop. Now lastly, let's say in my example that we were coming from the northwest. In this example, again, I have a standard pattern, so my direction, we'll change the colors here, my direction of the holding pattern is still standard right hand turns. And again, I have to figure out how can I get myself established in this holding pattern and go around the correct direction. Well, the easiest way in this example is to arrive at my fix and fly parallel to my outbound first. So I'm actually flying in the wrong direction, but just momentarily, I'll fly in the opposite direction, which would be, in my scenario, 90 degrees, or track a 90 degree course, for one minute, and then I would make a left-hand turn and turn back around to the fix. So my original entry into this holding was actually paralleling. I drew beside so you can see, but it's actually on that line. So I'm actually paralleling my inbound course first, so therefore we call this a parallel entry. Okay, so just to review, um, if I'm coming from this direction, the easiest way to enter the pattern would be fly 
to my fix and just directly enter right into my holding and go around. If I were coming from this angle, the easiest way to enter the fix or enter the holding pattern would be to arrive at the fix, take a 30 degree angle and fly for one minute and make a teardrop entry back to the fix. And then the third example is I would fly to the fix, I would parallel my outbound for one minute, make a left hand turn just to get reestablished and now I can continue to go around in the proper direction.